Now new at six, a disabled homeowner searching for answers after finding out a recent zoning violation could cost him and his family their home. As a double amputee, he says life has already been challenging and feels this recent issue has only added more stress. WREG's Shay Simon worked to get to the bottom of the issue. For the past few years, this is how Margarito Sotelo has gotten inside his truck to get around. Up the ramp in his wheelchair, then in through this sliding door. After 50,000 tons of metal, he says, fell on him 15 years ago. His carport gives him enough space and shade to get in and out. Two times already, I almost fell, you know. Yeah. and, and uh, I mean, it's why I put in this uh, carport. But three months ago, he says Memphis Shelby County Planning and Development told him his metal carport had to go, calling it a zoning violation. They told me I give it one month, you know, in one month, I don't want to see it again, you know, if it, yeah. Or well, I'm going to take to you to the court. He says he went downtown to turn in this letter from his doctor, stating he is a double amputee battling cancer who needs a carport. But even that was another obstacle. All the way down, you know, in, I have to cross the street, you know, with my wheelchair. I reached out to Shelby County for answers, and they say Sotelo was given time to file for relief from the zoning regulations under what's called a variant. But right now, they don't see an application in their system. Sotelo claims he has done his part, and now he is hoping Shelby County has him covered. <sighs> If not, put it in Selma House. Yeah, put it in Selma House. In Hickory Hill, Shea Simon, WREG News Channel 3. All right, he's hoping to stay put. And we talked to Shelby County, and they tell us they will be reaching out to see if he needs assistance filing the paperwork.